Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Liz Wade. And I'm Bruce Gulland. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. Two men sit together at a table. They are eating at a small restaurant in Kafar Vitkin, Israel. Each man holds a piece of flat bread called pita. One man takes his pita bread and spreads a smooth, thick substance all over it. The substance is a light yellow colored food called hummus. He takes a bite and enjoys the wonderful taste. Hummus is a very famous food in the Middle East. People make it from cooked chickpea beans olive oil, lemon, garlic, and a liquid called tahini paste. People from the Middle East have been making and eating hummus for almost a thousand years. It is a much loved food. And that is why Kobe Tsafrier decided to start his hummus restaurant, Hummus Bar. He wanted Hummus Bar to be a place where people could enjoy hummus together. In 2015, Tsafrier's restaurant became famous for something more than his hummus. It became famous for peacemaking. Today's Spotlight is on Kobe Tsafrier's restaurant and using hummus to bring peace. In Israel, there has been a long history of conflict between the Jewish and Arab peoples. In 2015, violence between the groups increased. This increase in conflict concerned Tsafrier. So he decided to do something unusual about it. He did not protest or fight. He did not write a letter to his government officials. Instead, he wrote a message on his restaurant's Facebook page. It said, Are you afraid of Arabs? Are you afraid of Jews? At our restaurant, there are no Arabs. But there are also no Jews. We have human beings and real excellent Arab hummus. Tzafrir continued his message. He said that he would charge only half price for hummus that was ordered by Arabs and Jews that would eat together. Immediately, Tzafrir's simple message spread around the world. Hundreds of people liked and commented on his Facebook post. And news organizations from around the world began contacting him. Tsar Freer hoped that charging half price would encourage more Jews and Arabs to eat and talk together. Tsar Freer believes that if people know each other, it will be more difficult to hate each other. And he thinks hummus is a particularly good food to encourage peace in Israel. 
Tsar Freer told the New York Times news organization, Hummus is a social food. You eat together and share the pita bread. This is a food that came from Arabs and that Jews also like a lot. After Tzafrir started his offer, some Arabs and Jews did come to his restaurant to eat together. This made him proud. However, he wanted to increase the number of Jews and Arabs that could eat together in his restaurant. So, in 2016, Tzafrir decided to do even more to encourage peace with his restaurant. He began raising money on a website called Indiegogo.com. On this website, people can give money to Tzafrir's cause. They can give money to pay for an Arab and Jew to share a meal. People can also give money to pay for a bus to bring Arabs and Jews to the restaurant to share a meal together. Tsar Freer says that he will continue his offer as long as he can. He is not just trying to get more people to eat at his restaurant. His goal is much bigger. He told the New York Times, I want to keep this idea for all time. It will be the normal thing here. Maybe in a few years, Everybody will forget the difference between Jews and Arabs. Maybe then I will stop. Tzafrir is not the only person who thinks hummus may be the secret to peace in the Middle East. In 2012, Trevor Graham released a film called Make Hummus, Not War. Graham had heard that there was a legal fight between Lebanon and Israel. The fight was over who owned the legal rights to hummus. Graham knew that no one country owned the ancient food. But he thought it was interesting to follow the stories of hummus lovers from different Middle Eastern countries, like Lebanon, Israel and Palestine. Some of these people shared how they made their hummus. People from each of these countries make hummus in the same basic way. But individual people do make small changes to make their hummus different. Most of the people in the film believed that their country was the home of hummus. And they all thought their hummus was the best. But Graham's film was about a lot more than just hummus. He used the story of hummus to explore bigger subjects of love, hate, conflict, and peace in the Middle East. He wrote, Hummus and chickpeas are a symbol of our common humanity, a symbol of our common ancient roots to live, eat, taste, and enjoy life. I wanted this movie to communicate 
that we have more in common than what divides us. Claudia Rodan is one of the people that Graham's film follows. Rodan is a Middle Eastern food expert. She was born in the Middle East and grew up eating hummus. Today, she has written many books on Middle Eastern food. And she has even made a television series about cooking Middle Eastern food. In the film, she talked about the power of food. She said, When you eat together, you cannot betray each other. Her words are very similar to a famous English language saying. It says, It is hard to remain enemies when you have broken bread together. In this saying, the term breaking bread means to eat a meal together. So, it is difficult to remain enemies when you have eaten together. This is definitely the idea that Safrir and Graham are trying to encourage. But what do you think? Do you think there is power in eating a meal together? Do you think food can turn enemies to friends? Do you think hummus could bring peace in the Middle East? Maybe not, but each small act a person does to build peace makes a difference. And it is definitely a way to try that tastes good. The writer of this program was Robin Basselin. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Eat Hummus, Make Peace. Tell us what you think about today's program. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net and find us on Facebook. Just search for Spotlight Radio. You can also get our programs delivered directly to your Android or Apple device. Just download our free official Spotlight English app. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.